Hi, I am Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be doing an apartment in The Sims 4. So I split this big apartment up into three small apartments. This is an idea that Little Simsy kind of came up with, and so I wanted to kind of do my own version of it. And so we do have a community laundry room. That's where we are going to be starting off in. This is like right off of the actual entrance to the apartment and so now I'm just trying to figure out something to put in the middle. This is a historic apartment and so I want to put that down this fancy scene like during construction I'm making this one apartment in a two free big or free small apartments. They found this cool looking sink and they put it in the laundry room and so we are now going into the first apartment. This is the yellow apartment. I kind of color coded them at the beginning to just to keep them distinct from one another. They do kind of end up staying the colors I chose previously. I do change this apartment to be more beige than bright yellow. I was kind of thinking for this apartment would be like more of like a short term thing for this family of three and so it's just kind of like they don't really care about having a cool wallpaper beige is just good enough for them to until they find like a next place and so we are just going kind of working on this little entryway entryway area kind of a mudroom area i did also get the two new packs which is like the pastel pack or kit and the quarter kit and so I try to take the most advantage out of those packs. I do use most of the pastel kit in the third and final apartment which will be at the end of the video and so we are just going to be adding a picture and kind of now going into the bedroom. I did want to use this antique fireplace from the holiday kit, but it didn't really end up working out, and that was like really the only item I wanted to use from that pack, and so I just got rid of it because I didn't fully want to like commit to a pack if I was just going to use one item. I mean, that pack is free, so you can get it, but I guess the holiday season is over by the time this video is going out, and so we are just going to be going into the primary bedroom for this apartment and I wanted to use this bed from the high school years pack. I keep seeing this bedspread and I'm just like oh maybe in the next build, maybe in the next build, but I decided this is going to be the build that this bedspread goes in. I really like it and I kind of thought that frame of the bed kind of helped with the historic part of the apartments and I thought it would go well with what I had planned and the kind of beige on the pillows goes with the beige on the wallpaper. Why would you want to match beiges? I'm not sure. I just thought it would look nice and so we do use the side tables also from the high school years pack and I did have a little bit of trouble trying to figure out what to go on this wall. I did end up adding that uh, light that was originally above the originally above the bed and now we're just going to be adding a dark furry rug. I thought that room turned out really well and so now we are in the kitchen. I feel like these all of these kitchens are kind of like high luxury kitchens. Like this kitchen like has like, the best view of of all. Oh, maybe the teen's bedroom has a good view, but like I was kind of imagining this space could be for like a chef possibly. Like it just like has like a big. I think this is the biggest kitchen of them all. So yeah, I was imagining this apartment would be for a chef, their spouse, and a teenager. And so even though this is like a short-term rental kind of for them, it is has it does have the like best like kitchen spot. And if you want to find this on the Sims for Gallery, the information is down in the description. And so we are just going to be 
moving some clutter around. I kind of went a little crazy with the decorations in the kitchen and I'm like, whoa, I need to slow down. I need to make sure there's some space for your sims to prepare the food. And so we are just going to be adding a dining table and I kind of move that off to the side a little bit, bit and add like a fake like balcony or not balcony a fake island in the kitchen so your sims can't like technically use this like island but it does like what it could if it was real life and so I first try to use like the actual island pieces but then I end up using this table from first cats and dogs and then the final version is from the dream home decorator pack and so we are just going to be adding some like fruit bowls and going to be adding a corner cabinet instead of just a flat cabinet. I thought this corner cabinet looked kind of cool because it like connected to the shelf that I have above the sink. And so this is definitely the fanciest kitchen out of all three of the apartments. And so I thought this turned out pretty good and so we don't I don't show you the bathroom in this apartment because it is just a normal two by six bathroom that I usually do and so now we are kind of going to be working on the living room space and so I wanted to use the bookshelf radio tv combo that came with tiny living just to kind of get the most space out of this area and then I do also add a, another bookshelf from the snowing escape pack and I wanted to use this uh couch in the blue swatch to kind of go with the rug and I kind of feel like I could play with colors the most in this apartment because of the beige walls and so we are just going to be finding the bookshelf I wanted. I went through a few options before I decided upon the uh, Snowy Escape bookshelf. I thought that would look, look good and go with the shelves in the kitchen. Although it is kind of like a black and white. So maybe before I post it on the gallery, I'll change one of them. But now we are going to be going in to the teen slash maybe young adult room and I was imagining this would be uh, for a kid who or a teen who's like kind of like on his end of his teen years maybe in university I do have some school flags up on the walls by the desk I put down and so I wanted this space to kind of feel like older teenage vibes and so I did want to make sure I have some hobbies for this kid or I keep saying kid by I mean teen sorry and so I put down some instruments but I'm pretty sure I just keep the guitar and I move the microphone in to a another apartment and so here are those school flags I was talking about and I do add this little calendar just because I figure if they might coming home every other weekend or so they probably want to know like what's going on how that like, maybe has a school schedule on it and so we are just going to be adding um some a side table or they're gonna be adding a lamp on the side table i feel like that has been the recent the, recently the thing i forget to add when i'm doing houses is side tables and so i wanted to make sure i added a lamp in this room and so we do also add a laundry basket. I just don't show it because I kind of forgot in the moment that I have a laundry shared room. And so we are just going to be making a little workspace for this, this teen slash young adult. And so we are just going to be adding some desk items. And I thought this would be a cool place to do their homework. And so... Now we are just going to be adding some final details into this apartment and now we are and then we are going to be going into the second apartment which is the green apartment and I don't really change the wallpaper or the color of the walls in this apartment that much and so 
I was imagining this apartment would be for a newlywed couple with like a toddler maybe and so we are just going to be starting off with the kitchen because I thought that would be the easiest space to start off with and I'm also using this wallpaper that's not technically a tile but I saw Leo Simsy using this like wallpaper as a tile and so I kind of wanted to do the same thing because I feel like we need more interesting shaped tile like this in in the game and so I'm stealing two of her Leo Simsy's ideas in this apartment or this video first to be separating the apartments into three different apartments kind of came from her and then second would be the wallpaper and so I wanted to make a little built-in area for the fridge and so I just kind of duplicated the uh, counter and just slided it around a little bit and so we are just going to be adding some decorations. This kitchen's probably the second smallest, and so I wanted to make sure there was still space for your sims to cook, and now we are just going to be working on a little family room entryway area, and so first we're actually going to be adding a dining room table, and I wanted to use this one from base game. I just thought it was simple. I thought the runner was kind of a fun idea to like, since I have a toddler, probably easier to like clean up and just like get all the crumbs on the runner and then like throw it into the garbage or sink or whatever you put the crumbs. And so we are just going to be adding a garbage can and then going to be adding some pictures and decorations. I thought the broom would be a good thing to add. Like I said, with the runner, the toddlers are messy. I mean, not in, like the game, but like in real life. And so sweeping would probably be a good item to have. I mean, you could probably get bust the dust, but I don't have the bust the, the dust pack. And so now we are going to be working on a little seating area, family to couch for the this family. I thought this was a fun kind of cozy spot and so we are just going to be adding some greenery and going to be at, trying to find a rug. I kind of go for a few options and then I end up going with this one from the laundry day pack where it's like layers. I kind of thought that would be good to add because they're kind of, they're, I, I was imagining this family would be, like, just married. They're still trying to, like, figure out what they like and figure out what the other one likes. And so we are just going to be adding what I deem as a shoe putting on chair above the little, like, envelope hold, holder. And so now we are going to be going into the bathroom. I had to make sure that this apartment had a shower tub combo because that's the only way you can bathe your toddlers in the game and so we are just going to be moving the door over so I have room for a sink. I kind of forgot about that and part. I thought it would work out just fine but it had to a little change. It wasn't that big of a deal but we are just going to be adding a little bit of decorations into the bathroom and going to be adding that picture back into the main area of the apartment and so now we are in this apartment's primary bedroom. I do kind of die down the green in this apartment for more of a lighter shade and so we do end up going with a white bed because of the green. I didn't want to like kind of compete with the colors. Like I said, the beige apartment was the easiest one to like pick colors for. And so we are just going to be adding some lights, going to be changing that wallpaper, like I said. And so now we are just going to be finding a dresser and I do realize that there's probably won't be enough room for your sims to like walk through so I do put the bed against the wall of windows and going to be adding a bed. I feel like this layout was a lot better than the one I had originally and then I do switch out the rug for in the living room and put it in the 
primary bedroom and so I'm just going to be adding a chair in the corner just because I didn't really know where else to where else to put to that corner I didn't want to put like plants in the corner like I did with the living room I want to put something different in the corner and so now we are just going to be adding some pictures I didn't really know immediately what I wanted to add but I thought it was like kind of like a collage of something I didn't want to like overly personalize this these spaces just because I want you guys to download it and be like easy for you guys to play in this house and make the changes that you need to make and so I feel like this like idea of having like one apartment be free apartments is shuts is such a cool idea because then you can have like you, we can now have roommates and so then it's just kind of more like a fun storytelling idea and so we are just or I'm just going to be adding a dresser first in this room and going to be adding this cute little mirror that came with the pastel kit. I just kind of brought like little girl vibes like she wants to be like your mommy and have her keys and have her little purse and so we are just going to be adding this like play tent from the dream home decorator pack and I do close up this wall just because it just didn't seem that kind of friendly to have like a picture of like a person that I can't get rid of although each of these apartments do have one of those plaques which I think is kind of cool to ha since this is in a storage district they all have the common they all the sims have the common theme of being maybe history nerds or something and so we are just going to be adding these cushions from the high school years pack I thought they were kind of fun kind of girly I was mentioning a little girl toddler to be in this room and so we are just going to be making a few more changes in here and then we are going to be going into the third and final bedroom or apartment which is a studio apartment we're just going to figure out a rug in this space i wasn't sure if i wanted to like match wallpaper and i think i do end up using the rug that matches just wallpaper which is kind of cool and so we are just going to be adding like a shared like garbage disposer outside and now we are in the pastel blue studio apartment bedroom that was a lot but we are going to be using a murphy bed from the uh, tiny living stuff pack and we're going to be using the dream home decorator cabinets i used the, them throughout all of the apartments and so we are first going to be starting off with kind of a dark moody i kind of want to bring some like moodiness into the space but my like, this is a pastel apartment why am i making it so moody especially since it's such a tiny little space and so i do end up moving or like changing the colors to be like more of a lighter wood and so now we are just going to be adding a sink. I don't have like an oven or stove. I do have like have like a stove top oven and I thought the blue kind of went with the wallpaper and, and so we are just going to be adding a little bit of clutter in the corner and going to be raising up the cabinets to make the to make the kitchen seem bigger and so now we are going to be working on a little desk space. I was imagining this apartment would be for a gamer who's maybe like just graduated from university, just graduated from high school, but they're ready to be on their own. And I kind of thought that's why they would have like a pastel apartment is because they still have that kind of youthfulness and craziness maybe. And so we are just going to be using the new chair and the desk and a computer came with the high school years pack and so it's going to be moving around some furniture i wanted to have the computer have a good like background screen and that might sound weird but you know when people do like face like when they game with their face cam on that there's like 
like like a bookshelf or like a couch in the background. So I wanted my desk to have like a pretty background. So I ended up using this shelf from the pastel pack and I kind of, I like how it turned out. It gave me the same vibes I wanted in the area and so we are just going to be uh, going in and add going into the bathroom so yes the split beige bathroom is the only bathroom I don't end up showing and so we are just going to be moving that microphone that I originally put in the teen's bedroom into this bedroom I thought they are probably some sort of performer on the on the side of being a gamer and so we are just going to be adding some pictures i like how all these pictures don't have like the same frame and so we are just going to be going in and adding a um adding a dresser i use this one from high school years because it's up and out of the way and it's close, close to the bathroom and close to the bed and so it's like perfect for like getting ready in the morning or night and so now we are just going to be using some of this more some of this clutter I really like how of I really like how much of this clutter is here and I like how there's like glasses like on its own and like glasses like with a watch and like a paper stand and so we are just going to be kind of rearranging a few things I wasn't really sure what to put in this bottom cabinet in from the Murphy bed and so we are just going to be adding a little phone with the keys again such a cute item and I probably should mention this earlier but this is the only apartment I put a computer in so if you don't want to play in this apartment but you want to play in like the other apartments you can just lock the door for your household and then come in to this apartment and use a computer I mean you can also just like add a computer or a laptop in a, another in the other two apartments but I just thought that would be another solution and so we are just going to be kind of adding the last details in this apartment We're going to be adding some adding a rug to go with kind of a crazy pastel theme and I really do like how this area turned out I think this is my favorite video I've made in a while and so we're just going to be adding some funky candles, going to be adding a little like makeup tray and so now we are just going to be finding something to add in the corner and I end up going with a uh, piano for that kind of like entertainment thing I wanted with the uh, microphone and so now we are just going to be adding a little journal again such a cute item and so we are just going to be adding a little like, rolled up yoga mat and so we are getting close to the screenshot so I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to play in this apartment you can find the information down in the description. I post new videos every single Tuesday and if you want to find more of my content I'm also on Instagram green underscore bros underscore sims. It's the same as YouTube and my gallery ID. So I hope you guys all have an amazing week. Make sure to hit that like and follow button. And hope to see you all next week for another Sims 4 video. Bye!